Hello and welcome to the channel where in this video we will be visiting the Royal Air Force Museum, Cosford. RAF Cosford, the site of the museum, was opened in 1938, delivering operations training to generations of technicians and ground trade recruits. Home to the RAF's only official air show, RAF Cosford's educational ethos and community mindedness make it an essential element of the RAF's presence in the Midlands. The site of the museum was originally used as storage for the expansion of the RAF. During the Second World War, over 70,000 recruits were trained at Cosford to meet the national demand. After the Second World War, units were disbanded and operations scaled back, though young recruits were still being trained at Cosford. On the 15th of November 1972, the RAF Museum opened in London and any aircraft not on display was stored at other RAF stations, including Cosford. Interest in the aircraft stored at Cosford grew and they were made accessible for viewing once a month. Then, in 1979, the trustees of the RAF Museum took over the management. In 1998, the Ministry of Defence transferred ownership of the aircrafts to the museum. Since its opening, major developments have added a visitor centre built in 1998, a conservation centre built in 2002 and the Cold War exhibition in 2007. The museum is in four hangars. One, for transportation and training, two RAF stories and test flight, three war in the sky and finally four cold war. Each of these hangars houses many aircraft which you can get up close to with information boards detailing the aircraft's history. Up to and during the Second World War, there were many companies designing and producing their own aircraft, and a handful of prototypes would have been ordered for evaluation. But defence spending was reduced after the Second World War, and many of these companies merged or disappeared, with only a handful remaining today. From the aircrafts, it is evident that the RAF is an attacking force and has demonstrated the ability to take the fight to the heart of the enemy over many operations and campaigns. Since its early days in 1918, the RAF has protected the UK from hostile threats 24-7. Its finest hour 
being the Battle of Britain during the Second World War. The RAF also plays a key role in delivering humanitarian aid across the world and a support role during times of conflict by transporting supplies, equipment and troops to where they are needed. Not all the aircrafts on show are British, some are German from the Second World War and it is fascinating to compare the British against the German aircrafts. It is clear to get a sense of the evolving engineering, the thought and design spurring an advancement, but the sobering thought is that the evolving designs were used to better kill the enemy. It is not just aircrafts on show at the museum, but other vehicles too, like tanks and cars. In Hangar 4, you'll see displays of aircrafts, tanks and missiles of the Cold War era. The Cold War was a time of mistrust and unease with the Soviet Union, a period which lasted until 1991 with the breakup of the Soviet Union. The Cold War saw many advancements in aircraft, though if the Cold War had escalated into a full-on war, much of the fighting would have been on ground level. It is evident from the displays in Hangar 4 of the race for better technology between the Soviet Union and the West. The RAF had a number of options to stop a threat from the Soviet Union, like surface-to-air missiles and very fast interceptor aircraft. Had a nuclear attack occurred, it would have been the Royal Observation Corps tasked with gathering intelligence on conditions which would then be fed back to Central Command. The Royal Observation Corps was disbanded in 1996. All air forces rely on transport aircraft for moving troops and equipment. There is also a major requirement to retain a fleet of training aircrafts to teach air crews a wide variety of skills they must master before they can become operational. The museum's collection of transport and training aircrafts includes some of the largest and smallest machines flown by the Royal Air Force. The RAF Museum Cosford is an excellent place to visit and has a lot on show. If you have an interest in aircrafts, it is an absolute must visit as you can spend hours admiring the aircrafts. The downside for me is that you can't see into the cockpits, something which would add interest to the aircrafts. 
Also to bear in mind is that displays are subject to change. The museum is free to enter, though there is a parking fee of £6.50 and you can donate to help towards the museum's upkeep. Something I recommend you do. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, goodbye.